Hello, welcome to Wasted Traditions Tarot. I am Tiffany, your friendly neighborhood intuitive tarot reader. I'm going to go ahead and get started with a collective reading today. I offer general insights and guidance and I encourage you to take what resonates with you and to leave the rest, okay? I've already uh, blessed my decks of cards. I pre-shuffled my oracle decks, deeply shuffled the tarot decks I will be using today. But as I go for clarification, I will reshuffle those tarot decks. I hope all is well with you. Thank you so much for joining me on today. I do hope that you find something that resonates with you deeply and helps you on your journey today and the rest of the week. So let's go ahead and get started pulling the Oracle cards to see what spirit needs you to know, beloved human. All right, we're using three Oracle decks today, the Spirit Animal Oracle, the Starseed Oracle, and the Shaman's Dream Oracle. I will turn the first Oracle over, leave the other two face down. And from the Spirit Animal Oracle, we have Dolphin Spirit. This and that are true. We have Dolphin Spirit. This and that are true. All right, what I'm feeling here with this first Oracle card, Dolphin Spirit, this and that are true. The first feeling I'm getting is family. I'm definitely feeling family for this. Um, I'm also feeling that for some of you, to have your cake and eat it too is not a bad thing. I'm not getting that <clears throat> at this point. We're going to go ahead and pull some tarot to get some better understanding and clarification. Definitely feeling family uh, there in a positive way. Some upliftment in the family. Some good news possibly in the family is what I'm getting. Right. So let's see what the tarot brings out and what spirit needs you to know, beloved human. Okay. <clears throat> this and that are true. I will pull tarot for the other oracle cards that I haven't turned yet. And I will not turn these tarot either until we get to that. Okay. So with Dolphin Spirit, we have Seven of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune and Judgment. All right. It seems what I'm feeling with this Judgment card, there is a truth that is revealed in the family. And I'm feeling like this is expected news that People are waiting to hear and, and they're excited to hear. That's what I'm feeling with this Wheel of Fortune. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles. It feels like there has been some hard work, some intentional work. Hmm. Intentional work done in a family setting. Are we looking for someone, beloved human? I feel like for some of you, you've been searching for a family member and you're finding them. The truth is, is yes, you found this so-called long lost family member is what I'm getting with judgment 
And the Wheel of Fortune is yes. This is in your favor. It's going to add value and joy to your family. That's what I'm getting. Let's get some clarification. Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles, I'm feeling like someone's definitely been researching, looking for a family member, maybe a sibling perhaps. And things have turned in your favor and good news is coming in that you found this family member and they actually want to connect. They, they're they not, you know, because this could be somewhat, you could be apprehensive when you're looking for a long lost family member, a parent or a sibling or even otherwise, yet I, I don't feel anything negative with this. I feel like this is positive. This is good news coming in to find this long lost family member. So let's get some clarification with the tarot. <clears throat> Seven of Swords. Yes, Four of Wands and Justice. Okay, okay. So the Seven of Swords is clarifying the Seven of Pentacles, right? It, what I'm feeling... <clears throat> The Seven of Swords is clarifying the Seven of Pentacles. And I feel like the reason this whole journey started to look for this family member is because there was some deception. I feel like someone, someone is looking for a parent. There was deception with paternity, whether it's a mother or a father. I'm uncertain. But there was some betrayal or deception with paternity. And for someone, beloved human, watching this, when the deception was uncovered, when that deception was uncovered, we have, you know, awakening to the truth with this judgment card. When that deception was uncovered, the, the research began on your part, right? And so... And then we have the Four of Wands is clarifying the Wheel of Fortune. So this is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, this is a celebration. You found this, this family member. And what I'm getting, we have the Justice card clarifying judgment. And what I'm feeling with this justice card, clarifying the judgment card, is this is absolutely in your in your favor. Um, it feels like what I'm feeling is you feel like your life is coming into balance now that you found this parent. Now that you get to hear their side of the story, and you just feel whole you feel um your life feels more complete finding this parent hearing what they had to say and how things went down so this is definitely a joyous thing is what i'm feeling our next oracle card is activated earth power places ley lines trust where you're led okay Activated Earth. And what I'm feeling with this, trust where you're led because your research has led you to this individual with this Seven of Pentacles. Trust that research that you found the right person. That's what I'm feeling with that. I'm going to turn over the tarot. So, the Fool, again, Four of Wands, and Five of Pentacles. You've definitely felt lost. This Five of Pentacles showing up. You felt lost. You felt incomplete. You felt abandoned. 
by this parent. But this is, beloved human, this is not of your doing. And it is unfortunate that you've carried these feelings for such a long time. But now we have the, sh the fool has shown up. This is a new journey. You're starting a new relationship with this parental unit, if you will, right? This is a new relationship, a new journey that you're starting. And it's going to be ce celebratory. It's going to be positive. It's a new start. And no, they can't raise you. You're an adult. We understand that. And that's something to be discussed between you and them. Yet they can parent you uh, as an adult child. And you will start to create the foundation of that relationship. And things will start to improve and get better. You will feel more complete this is something new to you i can understand why i've actually had this experience personally where i actually went looking for my father to hear i found him as an adult um and to cultivate that relationship so i do have experience in this and i'm excited for you what spirit is showing us let's get some clarification we have the knight of cups Again, with the fives. So we have a five of cups. And then we have a two of pentacles. All right. All right. This two of pentacles is clarifying the five of pentacles. You've been trying to balance this emotion and this feeling of abandonment, right? Um, juggling what your struggles have been. Feeling that loss, feeling that abandonment, and coming up over the years, growing into an, um, an adult with, you know, possibly even a family of your own, and just still trying to juggle your emotions. It's been, it's been somewhat of a struggle is what I'm feeling, and I also feel like you do have children of your own, so it's like even trying to, to balance how you parent... In a way that you didn't want it to look anything like the way you were parented or the lack of uh, one parent, right? That's what I'm feeling with that. Now, we have the Knight of Cups clarifying the Fool, right? This is the, the Fool is that new beginning, that new relationship. And... The Knight of Cups is clarifying this new beginning, this new journey, this new relationship. And this is showing you, beloved human, go after the desire of your heart. You want a relationship with this long lost parent. Go after the desire of your heart is what I'm feeling. Um, it is absolutely worth the try, right? And then we have the... Five of Cups clarifying the Four of Wands, which is really interesting to me. The Five of Cups is clarifying the Four of Wands. And what I'm feeling with this is that loss or that disappointment that you were feeling, it will be diminished. This will be a time to celebrate. And build from here your loss. It does take time because this is all brand new. It's no rush, beloved. Understand, there's no rush to get the relationship to the point of where you are now. It's going to take time to build a foundation, to build trust, to get to know one another. So there is a beautiful outcome that I'm feeling here. Our last oracle, Moon Maiden, New Beginnings. Moon Maiden, New Beginnings. This is just in line with what I've been feeling. This is a new beginning. Dreams coming true. I feel like 
You've dreamt of this moment for so long with this moon energy. It's It's been a dream that has eluded you for quite some time. But, but we have a victory here with the Four of Wands showing up twice. And the Wheel of Fortune. Um, justice. The balance. You know, we have Justice and the Two of Pentacles. Things are balancing out for you. You are coming into alignment with your emotions over this whole situation. So with the moon made in new beginnings, we have the queen of wands, two of pentacles again, and four of cups. Absolutely. Okay. So new beginnings. Okay. And we have the queen of wands, right? So what I'm feeling with this, you you are going to be calling on your strength, calling on your courage, beloved human, and you have it. You have the courage. It's you're a bit nervous to meet this parent. Um Yeah, I'm definitely feeling like this is a father. You've been searching for your father. And so you're a bit nervous, but the Queen of Wands. Uh, beloved human is showing that you do have courage even though you're nervous you walk through the fire anyway because you started the journey to look that took courage that took um, determination and then we have the two of pentacles showing up again yes you have been balancing your emotions um, you've even questioned yourself should I continue this journey of looking for my father or not. So you've been juggling those emotions. And I'm telling you everything points to yes. And then finally we have the five of cups again. Because that disappointment is so deep with you. It's showing up again. You've been disappointed. You felt abandoned. And that doesn't just vanish automatically. This is the beginning of your journey. Give yourself grace. Continue to... Stay grounded, right? Because it is something new to you. You know, we have the... It's it's super new. You have the the fool and then the moon maiden with this, with this new beginnings, right? So, it's anything new is going to feel uncomfortable at times. So, it's... it's it's a time to offer yourself grace and take your time. There's no rush. This is happening for a reason at this appointed time. You're hearing this message because spirit needed you to know you are on the right path. Clarifiers, Knight of Wands. The world. And Six of Swords. We cannot make this stuff up. Spirit is here to let you know. You are you are good. You are divinely guided. This Six of Swords. Is clarifying this Five of Cups. Because the disappointment has been great. And it has been deep for you. Very emotional. Um, a lot of sadness. And a lot of questioning. Right? With this Five of Cups. But the Six of Swords is clarifying this Five of Cups. And Spirit is letting you know you're being divinely guided away from these feelings of disappointment or abandonment. We are moving you on to more emotionally calmer shores to create a foundation in this new relationship that you're venturing in with your father that you haven't known for all of your life because of misinformation right and deception so spirit is letting you know you are divinely guided away from the emotion of abandonment and less than and not enough and then we have the knight of wands clarifying the queen of wands this is beautiful so the courage you've taken the courage you've taken to start this process of looking for your father the Knight of Wands just reiterates the, the action you took 
to start this adventure. I know it's felt like an adventure with its ups and downs, the roller coaster of emotions, the roller coaster of information you found that were the hits and misses. Um, so that Knight of Wands is showing that adventure that you've gone through, right? But it's clarifying the Queen of Wands, which was, yes, you were on the right path. Yes, you you hunkered down into your courage and kept going anyway when it felt a little frightening or unsure for you. And then we have the world clarifying the Two of Pentacles. All of that balancing and juggling of emotions that you've been dealing with, what you've wanted for such a long time, it's yours. The world is yours. This is coming closer and closer to completion. Full circle. You started this process. You kept at it when you were unsure or fearful, nervous, apprehensive, uh, excited. This is your time. The world is yours. This is a beautiful, you know, beautiful. I mean, I'm super excited for you, beloved human. This is a desire of your heart. And this, this Knight of Cups reminds you to go after the desires of your heart. And you've done just that bravely with courage, with that Queen of Wands energy, right? I feel like there's something else. Let's. There's something else. What else does our beloved human need to know? Okay, what what flipped and I saw? I'm going to take this. I, it's, it's beautiful. I, you can't make this up. Spirit is so intentional. So what popped out? The strength card. You've been courageous. You've been strong. Stand in your strength. You've got this. Some Leo energy has popped up here for you. Um, you definitely... You definitely... It took strength for you to get through this process and you are so close. And then the second card that popped out is King of Wands, right? The King of Wands. The vision you've had for yourself... To find your long lost father. You've had this vision. You've helped it, held this dream for quite some time. And it's coming to fruition. With the world card. Right? You've held this dream for quite some time. You've held this vision for quite some time. And you stood in your strength. And your courage. Right? Right? Strength, courage, and just holding the dream close and, and continuing to move forward. It's all for you. This is beautiful. I hope this has resonated with you and you find that connection that you've desired for so long. All things point to a beautiful celebration, a wonderful foundation between you and your, your father, beloved human, I'm excited for you. I'm super excited for you. I hope this has resonated with you. I will see you soon. Until then, bye-bye.